Welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. Um, in this series of videos, we are covering the odd numbered problems for the word problems that were assigned in the digital study guide. And if you were following through uh, watching the drill problems, you see my you know, various opinions and notes about that. Um, so I'm not gonna be repeating a lot of that. Um, just know that if you don't get this, then you definitely need to be speaking with an instructor, not emailing, because a lot of this cannot be covered in an email, um, especially the standard deviation. Uh, so that that subject matter, you have to speak with somebody. Okay. So if you you know watch the videos again, and if you still don't get it, telephone and speak with an instructor. So let's move on to um, the first problem for the word problem number 17. It says here. Uh, the American Kennel Club announced the most popular dogs in the U.S. for 2011. Labrador Retrievers remained number one at 20 for the 21st consecutive year. German Shepherds came in second, followed by Beagles, Golden Retrievers, Yorkshire Terriers. Create a circle graph for dogs for life kennel club with the following members. 52 Labs, 33 German Shepherds, 22 Beagles, 15 Retrievers, and 10 Golden uh, retrievers I mean 10 Yorkshire Terriers so I mean I'm not going to uh, go through trying to make this perfect okay um, you know you could do that with your illustration programs whatever have you but basically I have one two three four I have five different animals okay so let me just divide this up into five Okay, and let's make that like that. Okay, so I have five different parts here. Okay, and I have 52 uh, lab Rador retrievers. I would go here. I'd put 33 German shepherds here. I put 22 beagles here. I'd put 15 golden retrievers here, and I'd put 10 Yorkshire terriers here. Okay, now. You know, these should be, you know, I mean, obviously I'm just right, you know, drawing this in freehand. And if you were using like an Excel program, you would have put on a data sheet 52, 33, 22, 15, and then 10. And when you went and used the uh, graphing the charts feature, you would have chosen a pie chart and you would have selected this set of data. Okay, and that selection of the set of data would have apportioned um, much more accurately the size of the different slices of the pie chart. Okay, but for all intents and purposes, I mean, yeah, if you were doing this by hand before you had a, a computer, you know, you'd actually have to figure out the number of degrees for each and every slice, okay, so that you could uh, make the angles correct so that you would have. The right apportionment all right but that's before the computer you can you know use word and excel nowadays in order to be able to get things more accurate and more professional looking but the whole idea behind this problem is just that okay i know how to make a graph all right 19. all right bill small a travel agent provided alice hall with the following information regarding the cost of her upcoming vacation Construct a circle graph for Alice. Again, um, you know, we're creating a pie chart. And, um, you know, there's four pieces. Okay. And so 35% would be in transportation, 28% for the hotel, the 20% for food and entertainment and 17% for miscellaneous. Now, in constructing this, I mean, I didn't do it in the previous one, okay? Um, and But this is what you, you know, because I had five and now really there's only, there's four here and that's one less than that one. So that's why I'm doing it. And I'm going to work through the numbers for this one. Okay. But you would have done the same exact thing as to what I'm going to do for the previous one. Right. Um, 
what I'm going to do here is remember that all this totals 100%. Okay, and if you had watched the video for the, let's see, let me find it. Um, da -da 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 -da. um yeah, I don't see it right offhand, but anyway, um, remember that this is, you know, back when we were doing, you know, the chapter on percents, you know, we had amounts and percents. Okay. Right. Well, this is the same exact thing. This, uh, a graph, a circle graph, a pie chart is represents 100% of something. Okay. So when you add all of these up, you end up with 100%. Now, in the previous chapters, we, are, we were always talking about dollar amounts. Well, it doesn't have to be dollar amounts. The concepts can still be the same. In this case here, we're talking about degrees. Okay, And there's 360 degrees in a circle. That means all the way around the circle. Right. So in order to know how many degrees to make each slice, we would take the 360 degrees times the 35% and that would give us um, 126 degrees okay so this here angle would be 126 uh, degrees we'd take 360 and multiply that by 28% and that would give me 100.8 degrees okay so for hotel this would be 100.8 360 times 20 percent is 72 degrees so the food and beverage would be 72 degrees and 360 times 17 percent would be 61.2 degrees so that would be 61.2 degrees and I would apportion it more accurately using a you know protractor or a compass Okay, and of course, when I add up all of these degrees, that should come out to 360 degrees. Okay, so I would, you know, know that. Oh, okay. I would take my compass and I'd say, okay, you know, here's my angle of 126 degrees. So that would actually look something more like that. Okay, because it's greater than 90 degrees. That would look more something like that because that's greater than 90 degrees. So that angle would be 126 degrees. Okay, and I'd, I'd create my uh, pie chart that way. All right. Uh, don't get too hung up over creating the illustrations. Okay, I, we have computer programs to do all of that, but you do have to know how they're constructed. I mean, like I just showed you, it's like okay, I, here's my circle, and if I cut it in half. You know, this here is a 90 degree angle. This is 90 degrees, obviously 90 and 90, which makes 360 degrees. Okay, so if I have 128, 26 degrees, obviously this line here is wrong. Okay, because my it's greater. You know, the angle is greater than 90 degrees, right? And of course, if that's greater, then this has to be less than 90 degrees, right? So. Uh, it's just a matter of using the, the software programs, but understanding the underlying concepts and creating the graph. All right, let's see what the next problem says. Um, it says Angie's Bakery bakes bagels. Find the weight it mean to the nearest whole bagel. Um, given the following daily production for June. Okay, all right, so let's see how we're going to do this. Um, we have to write down all of our data points. Um, so here's my data points, and we're going to have to tally them, okay, because we want to find the way that mean. So let's start out with uh, okay, I see I have 150 and I have 200. And so I have, all right, let's do it like this. I have 200, I have 150. Then I have 190, one time. I have 360, one time. I have 400, there's two times. So I just did that column. All right, I have 150 again, 190, two more times, 400 once, 
360, and 400 again. So that's that column. I have 200, 360, 190, 400, 150, and 200. So that's that column. I have 150, 360, 200, 150, 400, and 150 again. So that's that column. Then I have 200, 150, 150, 200, 360, and 150. Okay, so remember these are the number of bagels. So I have 150 times 9, that's the tally here, that's 9, that's 6, that's 4, that's 5, and that's 6. Right? So I have 190, 150 times 9, um, that's 1,350 bagels. I have 200 times 6, that gives me 760 bagels. I have 190, oops, I'm sorry, not, yeah, yeah, 190 times, oh, no, that's not 760, geez, Jim. Okay, 200 times 6 is 1,200. 190 times 4 is 760. 360 times 5 is 1800 and 400 times 6 is 2400. Okay, so when I add all of those up, I end up with 7510 total bagels. Okay, and I had I had one, two, three, four, five, six, and that uh, six rows, and I have one, two, three, four, five columns. So six times five is thirty data points. So I divide the seven hundred seven thousand five hundred and ten by thirty data points, and I end up with uh, two hundred and fifty point thirty three, or two hundred and fifty bagels. And that's my weight at mean to the nearest hole bagel. Nearest hole meaning, you know, uh, since it's uh, 0.3, I'm rounding down to 250 bagels. Okay. All right. So with that, I'm going to stop um, because that is also um, the end of this section of the word problems. And in the, uh, I'm going to continue on doing the optional word problems in the next video. So. Again, if you don't understand something, watch all these videos again, but notice you're going to end up watching more than one video. But that's how, if that's how it takes for you to get it, that's how it takes you for you to get it. And if you still don't understand something, you know, telephone and speak with an instructor. See you in the next video.